Welcome to Math with Mr. J. So here we are at the introduction to ratios. So we're going to go through the basics of ratios, how we write out ratios, and just talk about what a ratio is. And as you can see, there are two numbers on your screen. We have uh, the top problem, ratio problem, with strawberries and oranges, and then the bottom with basketballs and soccer balls. Now, when we're talking ratios, a ratio shows the relationship between different amounts. So we're going to take a look at the quantity of one thing, right, the number of something, compared to the number of something else. So for example, number one, we have the ratio of strawberries to oranges. So we're going to compare the quantity or number of strawberries to the quantity or number of oranges. And there's a few different ways we can write these ratios out. So let's first start by counting the number of strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six strawberries, two, how many oranges? Well, one, two, three. Six to three. So this shows for every six strawberries, there are three oranges. And again, strawberries has to come first, the six, because it comes first in our ratio problem, right? Strawberries to oranges. We can also use a colon to represent this ratio. So six to three, or we can use a fraction. Whatever your numerator is, the top number, that's what comes first in your ratio. So strawberries, six strawberries to three oranges. Now, just like fractions, when it comes to ratios, you want to simplify the ratio um, if, it, if it applies, and here it does. So we need to find the greatest common factor or what can divide into both six and three to simplify here. And three is a common factor between uh, six and three, and it's the greatest common factor. So let's divide both the six and the three by three. Well, six divided by three is two, and three divided by three is one. So I'll do the colon way here first. Or I could put two to one, or the fraction, two to one. And let's take a look at our picture over here. And for every two strawberries, there is one orange. So our simplified ratio matches our picture over there of the strawberries and oranges, okay? So again, uh, we can use the word two, a colon, or a fraction. Whatever comes first in your ratio right, strawberries to oranges up here in, in the original problem, needs to come first in your ratios when you write out the answer. Now, oranges, there could be a problem that said ratio of oranges to strawberries. In that case, you need to put the oranges first and the strawberries second. So let's take a look at number two, ratio of basketballs to soccer balls. Well, there are five basketballs and there are eight soccer balls. So we could put five to eight. We could use a colon and that represents five to eight. Or we could use a fraction, five to eight. Now this particular ratio cannot be simplified. The greatest common factor and only factor between five and eight is one. So this is simplified. So for every five basketballs, there are eight soccer balls. And remember, basketballs needed to come first because it came first in our original problem. So there you have it. There's our introduction to ratios. Uh, we learned about what a ratio is and then a few different ways we can write ratios out. I will have a few follow-up videos on ratios where we dive a little deeper. Um, I will drop the links to those down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.